I'm done. It's my grown man year. So I'm cutting out certain things. I'm grinding. I'm locking in on everything I need to do and everything I need to get done. I'm focusing, bro. That is the that is the focus for Mamba year. This is Mamba year. This is my 24th year. I have to I have to have a map, a blueprint, and I have to have a like I'm locked in. What it do, fam? It's your boy Product One K back again with another banger video, man. You feel me? You feel me? If you knew, you already know what to do, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, join the 1K fam, man. We on the way to 1K. I appreciate y'all for tuning in my channel. Let me know what y'all favorite video is, man. Comment down below. But look, man, today we're gonna be doing a quick little like story time update video, man. I ain't gonna lie, I just, I just wanted to come on YouTube and vent to y'all for whoever like, whoever like these type videos, these one-on-one -on -one interaction personal videos, man. So look, today we're gonna be talking about my weekend and everything that I found out about myself over the weekend, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie, this weekend was pretty bad for me, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. And this weekend, actually it was Coppin State's um, homecoming and I had went out there, I had a pretty good time with the bros and stuff like that i ain't gonna lie it was it was pretty cool bro but like realistically bro it's time to lock in bro i'm not where i'm at where i, where I want to be at in life right now and i feel like i cannot reward myself until i get there and that is the mindset that i have in 2024 and i don't know how many of my how many of y'all feeling like that the same type of way bro but let's just jump straight into the video man and this weekend started for me on friday bro friday it was a long day for me. I'm talking, bro. I worked 12 hours moving 9,000 pounds, bro. Usually, like the day before, they tell you when you coming in, how long you're going to be there, and how much pounds you're working, bro. The the thing, the, the order that we got was from 7 a.m. It said we were going to be there for 10 hours, and it said we were going to be there moving 6,000 pounds. We get to the customer's house, y'all. She has boxes everywhere. She has a lot of stuff. She has pets. She has, like, bro, she just is, like, she not junkie, but she just has hella shit, y'all. Like, hella shit. So we like, oh, yeah, this estimate is over 6,000, bro. We wind up moving 9,000 pounds for 12 hours. 12 hours. We had to rely, fill the truck up, come back to her old crib, which was 45 minutes, that, like, back another way just to drop her shit off bro that it was tedious so look after i got off work man i was like man i need to treat myself bro i just had a long day at work i just made hella buku money I, i'm feeling good so i went to go get me some carolina kitchen bro if y'all don't know it's this new carolina kitchen around the way if if y'all know me personally that jones low-key fire they got plant-based food now <laughs> And I tried the plant-based yams. They, them jokes was just slapping. I ain't gonna hold you. Went to Carolina Kitchen to get me some food. And I had ran into this dude that was outside the Carolina Kitchen. He was, like, begging me for money. He was like, bro, like, you know, how you doing, bro? How was your day? <laughs> I had a pretty shitty day. Thank you for asking. My day was long. <laughs> My day was tedious. You feel me? He was talking about some... Yo, bro, any any way you can spare me some change, bro? I, at the time, I had money on me. It was my tips. Like, the, the customer gave me $50 tips. But I'm like, bro, I just work hard for my money all day. I'm not finna give you what I got out of my pocket just to make sure you straight. Like, I don't even know you. So what I wind up doing for this man, y'all, what I wind up doing for this man, like, no, no cap, no cap. I wish I recorded it. I wind up telling him, bro, I can cash up you $10, $8, or I could get you a job with this moving company that I just got off work for. It's a good job. They pay well. It's good hours. And it's about to get busy for the summer. I hook, So, bro, I, I wound up hooking, like, connecting this man, sending him the application to fill out. He gave me his number, everything. I was like, bro, just fill this out. Then I wound up giving him some food. I wound up giving him the food that I was gonna buy for myself. Cause I was on a budget, I was on a budget. I was only trying to spend $20. I wound up giving him food that I was buying for myself just so he could eat. I'm going home like $40 down in my pocket. I'm like, cool, man. I, you know, I made that, I made it today, man. That's cool. I'm tired as hell, y'all. So I get home, Woody Wop. I'm chilling. 
Some happened later on that night, but we're not gonna get into that, bro. Some, some really like blew, blew me later on that night, but we're not gonna get into that, bro. And it just like at at that time, it just made me realize, like, bro, I gotta get mine, bro. Like that ass, bro, cause I don't feel like I'm respected. <laughs> cause you know where I'm at in life. Like you feel me? Like I know this. It's gonna be a couple guys that's watching this that's that's like relating to what I'm saying. You don't feel like. At a certain, like, if you're not where you at, bro, you do not feel respected by by women, by anybody. I don't, I don't feel respected, bro. I don't feel like I'm at a point in my life where I could be like, put my foot down and, and you know, like, I, I just, I'm just not where I'm at. And I'm not saying like I don't deserve respect, cause you gon' you gonna respect me, but like, don't play with me. Like, I'm a real genuine type dude. Like, don't play with me, bro, cause like I really have. I, I can really tee shit up, you feel me? And I'm really, like, cool, calm, and collected. Like, I'm really all smiles, genuine. Like, people that know me and meet me, like, you'll probably think I'm the nicest dude in the world, bro. Y'all don't know the other side of me, <laughs> so stop playing with me. So, look, Coppin' State's homecoming was the next day. And I ain't gonna lie, I had leg day the day before I moved to 9,000 pounds, so I was dead tired. I was not trying to go nowhere. I was trying to chill in the crib. My line brother wound up getting me to go out. I was like, all right, cool. I just go out, show face, probably set out a couple hops, bro. I was tired. Like, I really wasn't trying to do nothing, but I was, bro. Boom. We wound up going to Coppin State. I didn't wind up recording anything. I wish I did. I, I, I could have did a nice little vlog, bro. They had Gator on the grill. It was it was, it was, was a bunch of bros out there. The Maryland bros mobbed that joint. It, it was nice. It was a good time. It was cold. It was cold. It was cold. And as soon as we migrated inside, bro, cause I was out there for some hours. I don't know, I just got into this funky mood, bro. Like real life, like in my head, like, bro, what am I doing? I feel like I'm wasting time, bro. Like I'm having fun, I'm having a good time, but I'm just like, I'm not where I want to be at in life, bro. And I feel like I cannot stress that enough to myself to where it's like, bro, if you not where you wanna be, you gotta cut out certain shit to get where you wanna be. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like literally sitting down at the party, all the buzz hopping, all the buzz doing whatever they doing, you feel me, what the buzz do. And I'm just looking around, I'm like, man, like I'm just in my head like, man, like, bro, I gotta get my life together, bro. Mentally, I just feel like I'm on a different plane right now. Like I'm about to be 24, y'all. Life is not finna slow down. Life is not finna get easier, bro. I feel like I just have to lock in on the things that I want to do. And there's a lot of guys that's probably gonna watch this video. A lot of people that's gonna watch this video and be like, yeah, man, I feel you, like, get yours. But bro, like, dead ass, bro. Look, man, I, I don't think I've ever been that type of way in a party. Like, I was dead ass ready to go, gang. I was dead ass ready to go. I did not want to be outside no more. I didn't even tell y'all what happened after the party. As soon as I leave the party, my car gets towed. And y'all know, if y'all follow me on TikTok, y'all know I've been having problems with tow truck companies and these fuck ass, money hungry ass, pay $300 to get my car back from yesterday, bro. That's everything I worked for on Friday. That's all the money I made on Friday. Gone. Gone. So, I'm driving home mad as fuck, bro. I'm, bro I just work hard as fuck for this money, and it's gone just like that. Just like that. And it just made me realize that I have to make better decisions for myself and my life, bro. If you're not trying to come in my life and help me, propel me, get to me where I get me where I need to be don't bother me <laughs> don't 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 call me don't call me ask me like if I want to do something call me I'm not trying to go out <laughs> I'm not trying to have fun I'm not trying to get to know you I don't care I'm uninterested bro I'm on a different plane right now hope y'all enjoyed this little rant video this little TED talk man no cap man let me know what y'all think follow me on TikTok at product 1k it's the same as my uh youtube at man and i'm about to go to the gym so go get yours